Um, we definitely needed a good rebound game after our game this morning. We came out a little bit flat, um, didn't play how we wanted to play, didn't have the communication. So we just made sure that this game was all about communication and rock placement. And I think that showed in our big ends. I do think it is an advantage to get that extra game on the ice for sure. However, it is a long week and the 10 ends are a little, can be a little bit rough on the body. So I think, I know we're in good shape. So I think it was an advantage to us, but everybody knows the ice real well. Everyone's so skilled there. So I would never wish for anybody to have to play in that wild card game actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. The whole pool is just so strong. And I think the ones who persevere and read the ice the best, because it's been changing a little bit. It's been great ice, but there have been some changes. So to pick up on that, you're going to come out on top. I think it's been coming together pretty well for us. Um, we actually were able to train for a few days leading up to this, so it just kind of got us back in the groove of playing together um, and just kind of used to each other again. And so uh, it definitely has been beneficial. And so hopefully we can just kind of keep things rolling and just keep things simple and see what happens. Uh, well, yeah, we were working with a sports psychologist this year. It's actually one that I've been working with since I was a uh, junior. Uh, and she's, she's just been really great just um, working on, you know, like staying positive, just re resetting after you've missed a shot, um, just preparing for games, uh, preparing for tournaments, just all the little things, um, just helping us sharpen those up so that uh, when we come out for every game, we're just ready to play. And that's obviously something that's going to give you a bigot or a little bit of an advantage in a field like this. And defeating a team like Saskatchewan, who will be also making a push towards that championship pool, has to feel pretty good. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think, like, all these games right now, they're just a grind. And, like, all we can do is just keep coming out and putting our best foot forward. And, um, yeah, letting the chips fall where they may, I guess. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, it was a big confidence boost going into today to have that win and then going out there tonight and having another good one for the most part it was good <laughs> yeah just just to rewind to go back um like you come off of a big game against uh, defeating the world champion obviously how, what does that do for the confidence and what, what how did it elate you I guess in this game going forward I mean we had to park it um for the main you know like we enjoyed that minute and then we had to really just park it and move on because there's so many games left and we can't get ahead of ourselves in any way because there's still tons of important games coming up and we can't put the take put our foot off the pedal at all so I think just taking it one game at a time and one shot at a time because every shot matters and every game matters so and you really just can't afford to lose one on something silly or you know any silly mistakes so we're just really trying to like control what we can control in our games. Yeah, um, I've played with Suzanne when I lived in PEI before and, uh, and Megan as well, and we just had a really good chemistry and it felt right to do this again. Uh, and it was nice that I was able to have a win in mixed as well in Nova Scotia before I switched over provinces. So um, yeah, it was it's great to represent your home province, but it's also really nice to represent something different and to be here with this team is really an honor. So, Andrea, did you see PEI win this morning and think, hey, I can do that too? Uh, we did, yeah. That was our goal, to uh, give her her second loss today. We, we really all came together tonight. It was a real team effort, and, uh, you know, we struggled since the beginning, and we have, we have kept, kept progressing, but tonight we just we really picked it up. So hopefully we can carry that through now and stay consistent. Any nerves going into that final end there after giving up the three? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and how do you manage that? It was probably the fifth end when it, you know, you got a lot of nerves and then the sixth end and the score gets a little bit bigger in a gap. Um, and it's just so hard to hold that now. So, um, but you know what, I knew that the girls were making great shots ahead of me. So um, I knew that I would, you know, my shots should still be fairly, fairly good. Does it feel a little surreal right now, this moment, having done that? Um, I don't think so. I think that I'm just really impressed and happy with how um, how well we played tonight, I guess, and what we brought together as a team. Yeah, a win like this is huge because a loss probably, you know, meant that things were pretty close to being over for us for championship pools. So a win like this is huge, and I mean, just that performance tonight is huge for us.